We're taking a look at Oak Club Manufacturing. They're, they're one of the OGs in the mag pin game. Perhaps the GOAT, if you will. Are these still the GOAT? Stick with me and we'll check it out. What did I get myself into? So many mag pins. So many mag pins. Hey guys, welcome back. These are the new mag pin three from Oak Club Manufacturing. Now these are stainless steel and aluminum construction. They're a four and a half inch stainless shaft with an aluminum knurled and magnetic head. You may have seen in the past the Oak Club mag pins two, which were the same shaft length, but the head was a lot smaller and some versions are just, they're just stainless and knurled where these are larger and the ma magnetic the magnets are encased inside of this aluminum. This ha it has the rounded tip, which I actually prefer. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I prefer the just the tip to be rounded. So it's easier to, a lot easier to get in where you fit in, if you know what I'm saying. So you may have seen in the past the Oak Club Mag Pins 2. The magnets are concealed. The magnets can't ever pop out like the other mag pins are really nice, but I've had I had them actually pop out, and I've got some. I'll show you some videos of B-roll that if I can find it, where actually my magnets were popping out, and they only had the four magnets. I'm not sure how many magnets are in this, but they're much stronger than the original version, and that larger head probably gives you more surface area for them to actually to link up and onto the rack. And I'll show you some B-rolls of that. But these are definitely some of the nicest overall mag pins I've seen. I would highly recommend them. That has a nice knurling and it has a flat head on it with their Oka logo, which if you don't like that, it's easy to cover up. And the previous versions were really nice. They had a knurled head, same shaft link and rounded tip. But what I didn't like about those is especially on my rack, I, my theme is red and black. So I don't really like the, the bright zinc or metal fixtures. Most of my stuff is going to be your the black zinc or black mag pins. They, they did have versions where you could get those, but they only came out during limited times of the year and there or special orders. Most of the time if they had anything in stock, it was the full stainless version, which on a rack, it doesn't really pop. I like that red and black color. So that, that's that stainless look or that bright zinc type look, I don't prefer on a rack. I never really liked about the mag pins. You could get them, but they would come out certain times of the year and they would sell out quickly. And then you never knew what colors. So if you had a red and black scheme, they would launch like purple or something. And you might not be able to get that one until red and black came out again. So these, they, they do carry three of these in stock currently. And I'm sure they were going to have other options down the road. I mean, Oak Club, they make a lot of custom stuff. So, but they do have three of these in stock currently. It's the gray, the blue, and the red. So for somebody like me with a red and black theme, it has that red red inner aluminum and the and the black and the black head on it, which is perfect for me. It looks really good with the red and black. And then it has a flatter head on it. So if you don't like that Oak Club logo, it's easy to cover up with your own branding sticker or thing like that. I'll show you some some B-roll and versions of things like that that you can do. But how do these stack up against all the other mag pins I've tried? So far, these are the best overall quality I've seen and the most usability they work four and a half inches is enough is long enough to work with things like lever arms or any of your attachments there's a few things they won't work with like certain type of j cups or certain smaller certain smaller attachments like for me i have the the irwin roller j cups and these you know the shaft will fit in but you're going to have a half inch gap between that and the in the roller j cup so it would keep it from moving side to side but it wouldn't the magnet wouldn't be secured so that's one of the only ones i've seen that it wouldn't work with some people say you need a five inch to work with lever arms and things like that, but this four and a half inch is long enough. You shouldn't have to worry about that. And some of the, even the new attachments they're coming out with, the four and a half is plenty long enough if you have something like a larger attachment that, that attaches through both sides, that, that attaches on each side of the upright or wraps around the upright. So you're gonna have a, you know, a half inch, quarter inch of each side. So your three by three post and then half inch, quarter inch of each side, you still have at least a half inch or so hanging out the other side on your on your wider attachments. So there's not much that you can't use these for. If you're not sure to how to, if you're not sure to how to insert your pin in a one inch hole, I'll show you some B-roll here, but they also do have a, a disclaimer on the website. So be aware of that too. 
But when I read that, all it did was make me think of this. Too fast. It. Take the little end and stick it in the big end. And you know what? If you guys don't know how to use a seatbelt, just ring your call button and Tommy will come back there and hit you on the head with a tack hammer. So they look awesome. They're, type, they're quite a bit pricey though. So when I looked them up online, they're $91 US and then another $25 for shipping. So you're looking at $116 shipped to you for a pair. They are sold in pairs. So you, get, you do get two for that price for that $116 shipped. And then uh, make sure you're checking the shipping too because on the shipping, the expedited shipping was actually $2 cheaper than the regular UPS shipping. So you might want to take a look at that. Make sure if you select one of these that uh, you're looking at the shipping because the better shipping might actually be cheaper depending on which one you click. So that's something to be aware of. Oh, so far these are my favorite mag pens, uh, but they're also the next to most expensive. The only other the more expensive ones that I've came across were the bare steel equipment. And I think you guys saw those. Those are about 150 right around there. The second most expensive, but they might be the, the overall total, total quality because like I said, the encased magnets, so there's no magnets exposed like in previous versions. So the magnets aren't ever gonna come out and you should be comfortable with that, that one inch shaft that they're gonna be strong enough to do work on any of your attachments. I haven't had any issues with it. And the magnets are much stronger on this one than the previous version. So if you're looking at any one of those colors or you just want a black head to go on your rack, because really that's all you're gonna see when you have it on a, on a rack. So. I would highly recommend them. Take a look at them. And there's there's no affiliate code. I'm not affiliated with this company. This is just one of the ones that I got asked to bring in. And I may have bit off more than I could chew with this because as I was doing it, more and more companies kept on coming out with the mag pen. So we still may have one or two that we got to review for you guys. And then we're going to do the full roundup. So stay tuned if you guys want to see that. Please continue to watch, like, and subscribe. I'm not affiliated with the Oak Club. Kind of one of our jokes in the home gym community is if you're looking for a discount code for something like Oak Club or Kabuki, you probably can't afford it because I don't think they have discount codes. So like I said, not affiliated with them, but I'll leave all my affiliate links in the description. If there's something you're interested in purchasing, you know, please use my link. Or if I don't have a link, I'll try to get you one of my friend's links so maybe we can save you some money. So please check all those out if you're interested in purchasing anything online. Coach Carp and Carp's Gym, thanks for watching, guys. and. Go lift. Thanks, guys. Summer hack. Sonic drive in. <sighs> Grape slush. You know what I'm talking about. It just reminds me if you're not sure how to apply a pin in a one inch hole, you can view. Yeah. <laughs>